Right, excuse the noisy computer and, and perhaps a dog cleaning his paws. Um, just want to catch this. This is the um, one of the many Bible tools. Now I've used this. This is uh, a blessing. But every time since I've started using this for about seven or eight years, maybe not so long, maybe six years, um, it's predominantly been biased against the King James Bible. If you, if if I put default King James, every time I put in a search, it will default it back to NIV. These are very prone. Um, all the modern Bibles and the King James version is kicked out. Now I've caught this. It's getting more and more extremely biased against the King James Bible. Now there's this, there's this uh, spirit in in the Christian body that the King James Bible is the enemy of all the other Bibles and uh, it's like a game that that is played that oh it's okay to kick a King James Bible believers faith and kick the crutches from out under people's feet who are King James believers and and uh, uh, that, that they're so proud that they think that the King James version is the only version and that robs everybody of their testimony of the King James whether you whether they believe just the hold to the King James or, or or they just use the King James as their standard now look at just want to show this to clarify a point on this uh, Bible store, uh, study site the King James Version Bible was authorized by King James the first and is sometimes referred to as the authorized version question mark question mark question mark you see that's showing contempt why why you know why is it the authorized version it was translated by the Church of England well actually that's not quite true is it it was translated by the King of England who was a rep he was a defender of the faith he wasn't the head of the church he represented the head of the church but he also represented the law and he was found wanting. He wasn't a perfect, um, righteous uh, man like Christ, the only righteous. He was a sinful king serving the duty of the crown, God. And he, he was uh, pressured to have this uh, scripture translated. Now, this, now, the King James Bible is not King James's Bible. He didn't write the text. He translated it from the or the original text and it's authorized not because he said so but because the lord deemed it necessary that people's hearts and the holy spirit was crying out for the truth to come out of the catholic pockets into the public's lives and if it wasn't for this king we wouldn't have any scriptures today and you wouldn't be able to complain and, and say Oh, you know, those King James Bible believers all sharpened up in their pride. No, they're just humbly standing for the truth. While every other um, despot and reprobate is attacking the, the, the Bible, they're attacking the Holy Word. They're not attacking a sharp opinion because um, of pride, because they hold to the King James Bible. No, they're just defending the faith and they're protecting a lawfully translated, authorised book. Not only authorised by the law, but by Jesus Christ and God. So if you're a lawbreaker, and you don't, you don't hold to the authorised lawful version, then who are you? So you hold to all these other versions, and the, all the Christian body is, is against the King James Version. You only have to look. So if you're in that camp, you're biased, you're, you're, you're under judgment, you're convicted by those few, those few faithful believers who hold to the truth. That doesn't mean um, every, every faithful believer solely holds, um, uses the King James, but they, they won't deny it's the um, original, original text and they will come in line to what the truth is of, and the will of God. And that's my testimony that there is no that there is a lawful uh, version of the scripture. And if you fight that, if you kick against that, you're kicking against God, and you're an enemy. 
not only to my own testimony and faith, because I, I don't attack, I don't attack other people's testimonies. I just, I just tell the truth about the corruption in these Bibles, all these other versions. Why do you need another version? Because you don't like it, or because somebody says it's not correct, and so you, you've got all this um, array and um, panorama of fractured light. It's like putting a um, a diffuser over over your um, light light to break up the light and dim it. There's only one word, and God's preserved His word. Read uh, Psalm 12. So that that that's just my uh, testimony of the King James and and noticing the contempt. Look, why 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 well, why do you think? You know, really these these sites really annoy me I'm starting you know they're a blessing they've been a blessing to me because I've got learning disabilities but when when you're kicked you're your mate you're persecuted you're clicking you're spending about three three extra hours looking for things because you're being it's handling you it's telling you what you should be reading and what what Bible they want you to read so it's all biasedly steering you away from the King James Bible you know, it's all bury the King James, bury the King James and pump out these corrupt versions. It's the devil's behind it. The devil, Satan, the enemy of Christ, the enemy of the law, the enemy of righteousness is behind it. So uh, be warned. I'll leave that in the name of Jesus Christ and, and uh, his authorised word, his word, God's word. Seek God's word, seek God's heart, seek God's mind and God's will. But you need a true lawful Bible to be in line with that heart and mind. If not, you're an unbeliever. And I'll close there in Jesus Christ's name. Amen.